be the change be the change that you want to be in this world you want to see in this world the change and gandhi ji also wanted to bring that change the utopia the heaven on earth the beautiful place where she dreamt of it is our duty as citizens of india to bring that beautiful change on this earth let's start because i really want that and i really feel that you must have yourself seen a change in your vocabulary haven't you you have yes this is what i want a positive change little bit change please do right we really long to hear from you whatever change you feel whatever you know uh, the kind of aspirations and desires you have where you are stuck what problems you face are most welcome let's begin with our words for today i have been working on this and working on more and more routes and i have taken up this route yesterday and i continue with the same i had already done the route of movement so i begin where i left so that this time of the students is utilized in the best best of perspective the word which i was discussing was the word the last of the class was the word motivate i am motivating you i am moving you towards your goal because teacher acts not only as a mentor a guide a teacher a philosopher a catalyst a promoter a inspirator a role model role model one who takes you towards your goal see the roots that work in it so i want to motivate you because i want you to be promoted what is promote moving forward in your life i don't want that vocabulary can never demote you because knowledge is that wealth the more you spend the more you gain so it can't demote you you will be promoting is moving forward demote is moving backward you can see the root de which means negative so move forward promotion they should be moving forward in social status and moving downward in social status the same words have been taken and don't be emotional fools about it you are to more linked towards strongly movement towards your feelings remote is something that moves you back but you have to bring it close to it remote things very far away you have to bring them back in your life okay so the root is wonderfully done with you i hope you've understood you've jotted down all those words related with mot that is move and taking up the next word or the next root for today very interesting root again that is cap it which means head even if you take cap all of you know cap yes i know you know cap what is cap cap is used to cover the head or if it is captain or if it is caption of today's newspaper says this then what is caption this says that yes be erudite be learned be scholars cerebral scintillating cogent and vibrant lawyers the word cap meaning in the sense of head capital punishment was earlier given by it's not so capital is the head city the main city we have the capital delhi as our main city capital building is was the head building of the congress or capital hill is the main head a uh, hill that is washington dc capital letters when you write something in capital letters means it's the main heading or a header he is the captain of the team captain of the ship that means the leader the one who is the head of something or the word captain please note it's an english word um, english language i was saying sorry this this is spanish word which english language is borrowed it's a spanish word for the head of something that is captain means a word which means that you are head of something see the next word that we have in this Uh, the word capitaine capitaine is a french word for the head of something see i gave you the spanish word please note captain please note the french word that is capitaine just an e letter difference this is a french word for the head of something and the italian word how interesting right captain capitaine 
and cappuccino. I think you must have been remembering the cappuccino coffee. <laughs> That's really true and it's really good to remember it. So it's just the later difference of the vowels E, O and A. Then capicho is a Portuguese word for the head of something. I had offered you all the languages words. You are learning not only English but Spanish, French, Italian and Portuguese and just a later difference of the vowel. Decapitate is to cut off the head. That means capital punishment in fact. You know cut off the head from the root de in the sense of not and remove the head of something. Cap is used for as I was talking of covering the head. Per capita income, have you heard of this economical term? Yes, it is per head income. That means how much income one person of the country earns that is per capita income. Capital punishment would be given that is taking the head of a criminal uh, is taking of the head of that is capital punishment. Cattle, the head property of a farmer main property. You know, please do not write this word in English. There is no word like cattle. Cattle is already a plural form. This S will not be used. Chapter, main head or the part of the book. In fact, uh, you would be wondering this is not exactly matching to the root, but we did take it because it was in the sense of head. Recapitulate is coming back to the main heading because we have re is again and cap recap short word is used to bring back you know to your head again so bring back to your head again you've seen those daily soaps which have in the news in this uh, tv on this tv screen when we have we have a recap written that means bring to your mind again what has happened and don't forget the word caption that is the headlines I read the caption, I was in a hurry, so I was just having a glimpse of the paper, I skimmed through the news and I read the caption. The next most interesting route that is track. Track is to pull something, drag something. See, when you do something forcefully, this is the word we use in English for it, that is the word vehemently. that is forcefully. See some things people do on their own that is deliberately. You do it on your own wish willingly. Nobody forces you and you should do things in a willful in a willing manner only. But this you make a person do that thing force that person to do that thing. So first word is very simple tractor is a machine which drags attractive that pulls you detract that drags you from something so d is is a negative way and you move away from thing it's a kind of a repulsive feeling see you move away from that thing subtract sub is move away completely when you minus something right so subtract all your um, phobias, manias, your fears, so that you can move wonderfully in life. It's positive use. Distract, don't be distracted. Focus on vocabulary. Distract is your mind is diverted. You are pulled out of the things. You're just not there. You are absent-minded. Maybe in a brown study or you're musing on, you are chewing the card, you are in a reverie, remembrance, recollection of the past. You are not there. Maybe physically, mentally, depends on the person to person. I want you to extract the best from these vocabulary words. That is to take out, pull out. Uh, extract is to take or pull out. In fact, this is something that like there is uh, a kind of a source for something and you extract from it. Intractable from the root in which takes you to the negative connotations of the words that is <coughs> something you cannot drag, something you cannot move away. Trackable means you can move, you can pull, you can drag, you can force that thing to happen. And intractable means you cannot drag, you cannot pull that thing to happen. That is tractable. Intractable or tractable. 
next word is the word which is contract you all have to sign a contract and contract word must be all uh, must be knowing this word when we have this word contract because we were doing analogies in the class today and when we were doing these analogies we had the words contract and students were very much you know very vivacious in the class in fact when they were answering for this word contract what happens first do you sign a contract or you have a breach of contract that was the sequence relation we were doing and we just reminded of this word co together and track which pulls you so it is something which pulls you together you are legally tied to something agreement this is the word the root that we did agreement is to contract this is a kind of a sequence relationship this was a part and parcel you must be wondering what is contract doing in english of course it's not doing it's a sequence analogy relation that came in one of our papers of clat retract re again more pull back again that is what i was giving you the word revoke please note for the synonyms of this word recall remember remember every in fact go down the memory lane the idiom that we use or the word we would take up is to muse on to chew the cud this is recalling only past or the word we would take is for example um, brown study i have long vistas of uh, things to offer you whether it's synonym or antonym or idiom or the analogy or sentence completion because things are loaded here anything could be asked about it then the word attraction or distraction or contraction or retraction it's a display of words nothing else so when we have this word protract that's to drag forth in time you are dragged forth forth means what is forth yes forward so pro proactive when we have pro is forward the word traction is a question of dragability depends how much you are moving on that is traction and distraught is pulled apart emotionally or broken in fact how are how does this happen you are broken mentally you are apart emotionally that is distraught broken in any form so that's what i was talking of co, co together re again this not and the word pro forward so contract retract protract and any word which attracts you so don't be distracted yes stay tuned always with us your thumbs up if you like the content and your subscription is our utmost thing that we want from you this is something which everybody wants this goading urging motivation you know something which keeps you moving on like a river as life flows on and on and on right students thank you